Hi everyone, we're here in Madrone Land at Swan Creek Park in East Tacoma to talk about Pacific Madrone, the big tree behind me. It's also known as Madronio, Madrona, Arbutus, or Arbutus menziesii is its botanic name. So we're all inclusive here, it goes by many names, but it's a broadleaf evergreen tree that's native to the Pacific Northwest. But we're pretty much in the center of its range, but you can find it all the way north into Canada, the northern end of the Salish Sea, and really down south through Oregon and into San Diego County. And so we're in the heart of its range. It's an incredible tree. It's, it's a broadleaf evergreen tree, like I said, so it always has leaves on it. That doesn't mean it doesn't lose leaves, but it loses leaves in the summertime. And then too, it has this like funky bark and it goes from like chartreuse to tan to green, depending on how much sunlight it gets on its bark. I adore this tree behind me. <laughs> for so many reasons. Not just because it's beautiful um, with its peely bark or its evergreen broad leaves, but mostly because the way it grows. So not just straight up and down. We, we've talked a lot about why how it le leans towards the light and it sort of defies that like um, vertical mentality and paradigm that we that we have with Pacific Northwest trees that grow so tall over hundreds of years straight up and down. Like I say a lot of the times we can't make a straight two by four out of it so this tree is like useless for capitalism and that's why I love it as well honestly. Um, it, um, it's useful for wildlife as well. It's pollinated by bees and we're here in March right now. In April, it's gonna be gorgeous with these white flowers on it. And that's sort of indicative of how many berries it will have late in the year that, um, that persist up in the upper canopy that like cedar waxwings eat. And they'll, they'll nibble on it and take it away and hopefully plant it somewhere else for some future madrone forest to be.